honestly. If you can't acknowledge your own abusive behavior and your in your reaction is to attack someone, you are entitled to be toxic. You you have no place in gaming. You have no place in our community. Something has happened recently, and I need to address how pathetic Rare's banning system actually is. Instead of actually going into any investigation and putting in any effort of any sort, 68 plus people, and I believe it's, from what I've been told, it's still growing, have been getting banned, lost everything on their accounts. Finally happened. The banning of my account has finally happened. After a month of not knowing that I had gotten banned after a friend had told me that there was a ban wave, I finally had it happen to me. I checked my uh, Sea of Thieves game and sure enough I was banned. And I would have gotten on this sooner, although my YouTube account wasn't letting me in. And I had now made a second channel, but now I'm using my old channel, so yeah. So then for some reason... Google had locked me out of my account, and I had no longer access to it, and after I had emailed them twice about it, I still hadn't gotten it unlocked, and I still hadn't gotten a reason for it. So I now have to post on this one. So this is a very accurate representation of what I was thinking at the moment. Let me in. Let me in. Uh, seven-year-old Max is gone. I am now 14. And, uh, yeah. So, I have been banned, and I will get into that right now. So after many attempts of trying to get my account back, uh, I had been declined many times after I had been confused of why I had been banned. Their main reason of me getting banned was that I was quote unquote cheating after I hadn't even installed cheats once on my account, leading me to believe that someone had hacked my account and that I had been framed. After I had made that claim, they still didn't believe me, so they just declined any tickets I gave furthermore and pretty much ignored everything I said. Now, they always closed the tickets whenever I offered them, but some of them just didn't even make any sense. And then the ban hit switch from me cheating to me having an alt account to avoid quote-unquote ban even though I have like two alt accounts for the reason being that I literally had everything maxed out on my account and that I literally just wanted to restart but not have to restart my main account. The three year long reign that I had in this game and I'll be honest even though I didn't like the company a whole lot that hurt more than anything else because I had worked a lot of time into it and I had over 4,000 hours on the game in total because of how long I'd played it. But now I play other games, and so I'm going to be doing more stuff on that and not worry about Sea of Thieves anymore. I am going to upload all of the uh, videos that I made on the other account, and you guys can see what I worked on. The original name of the channel is here if you want to check that out for some weird reason. And uh, yeah, it's good to be back. So that in the future, I guess. Uh, I'm gonna go and uh, have a good one.